Well, we get yeah. this question quite often of how, how can we teach her style? And I say, let's not go there. There is no Sybil Shear style right. to be taught. It was change and growth all the time. Mm -hmm. But she was really particular. If you, if you did something like accidentally told her that you rode a bike for five miles, she'd be like, oh, no, you, you have to, this is what you do with your body. What I tell you to do is what you do. The thing that Sybil told me that she felt she contributed to the dance world was that she freed movement that so many uh, modern dancers did have a stamp and that you were going to see a lot of those same movements whereas every time Sybil did a dance it was a whole new vocabulary and we would learn a new set of things for that particular dance mm -hmm. which always kind of put us behind the eight ball because it was like we were starting over every time. But that was part of her thing I think too. Oh, of course. To put us yes. behind the eight ball because you were, <laughs> yeah, you had to learn something and it was all very um, I think I'll say spiritual in the sense that I know she believed that we we were supposed to you know give take the energy basically from the universe in and then give it back out to you as the audience member so there was all this exchange of energy and uh, way before everybody talks about that now the energy went out the energy came back it went this way it went that way and we did that before we started any rehearsal um, and that was like very important to her and us. Mm -hmm.